How's it going folks? Just out at a mate's place and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a look at his um, aquaponics greenhouse that he's just starting to um, think about putting together. Show you some of the components he's got to work with and hopefully he might let me um, play along with him and come out here and give him a hand putting it together. Behind me is all these wicking beds. You've probably seen these on his YouTube channel. Um, it's Naughty Goat Farm. I'll pop a link up there and down below for you as well. Um, so I thought I'd just run through some of the components he's got uh, to play with and where he is on the build itself and um, Yeah, I'll keep you folks um, updated as the build goes and at some point in time I'll be releasing a video to YouTube as well for everyone else to suss out So H was very lucky in that he picked up a system secondhand um, this large low pondy looking fiberglass um, Container came with it. There's a couple of cracks in there that he's going to get fixed but he's got a fiberglass coming out to um, show him how to do a couple of repairs and you'll see why in a little while uh, he's got a couple of bed frames there's actually three um, 600 litre ish uh, grow beds or fiberglass and he's got a couple of other um, IBC um, beds over there and he's also got all the plumbings and fixings and bulkhead fittings and all that so um, the beds also came with the clay which he has stored in a couple of IBCs um, around the place. So, yeah, he's got a lot of um, growing space. And uh, I'll just take you for a bit of a walk. Oh, he's also uh, digging a trench. Um, that's one of the water sources he has here. He actually has a number of large tanks as well as bore water. Um, and he's just running some lines down there, plumbing. And also he's got to get the sparky out to fix that up, uh, the electricity, and run it over to his greenhouse. That's his little top bar beehive there, humming away with activity. But this is the structure uh, they've just concreted in and put up. And there is his potentially new fish tank. Uh, we've just been talking about um, different ways to set this up, filter it, uh, set up the grow beds. Uh, the idea he's got at the moment is um, this fish tank on the back side of the greenhouse. And then along the front here, he will have um, grow beds. Uh, the reason being is I'm looking south-ish at the moment. I'm not exactly sure where south is. So west is over there. Um, winter northern sun will be coming from this angle. Um, so just along this wall here, you'll get the majority of the sunlight through. And his wife, Nicole, is setting up a bit of a tree nursery down the other end. So they don't have the, the full use of the whole greenhouse. So uh, the tank itself is actually a beauty. They've got a second one. They're turning into a bit of a lap pool. This is a fiberglass tank, and as you can see, there is some um, beams coming down the side. That's actually metal reinforcing within the fiberglass, and it's a roughly a 7,000 litre chill tank from an abattoir. You got two of them, and they come with a lot of plumbing holes, and I believe the um, chickens come with it as well. And yeah, he needs the fiberglass out here just to seal them up permanently. He doesn't want to put um, screw baffles on there or anything like that. He just wants them sealed. He wants all the water to come over the top. So there's never any issues with um, drains down the bottom, breaking, leaking, pipe work, and draining the fish tank. And he's obviously got some more bits and pieces in here. I think they're just old wicking beds they haven't quite got around to setting up. Um, yeah, so this will be the fish tank. We we're just talking about ideas today. Oh, obviously, it's not um, set up properly on the ground. It's just in position. Uh, he's, we were just talking about whether he should um, divide it in two. He, he's got that sort of idea. Um, two separate tanks. And then have um, the solids coming out um, in the middle. Maybe fed with water to one point And then coming out, line out to a um, some sort of filtration. Uh, talking about IBC as a uh, solid settler. Uh, however it's set up, whether it's uh, with baffles or a uh, radial flow style. Uh, he has a lot of fruit trees around the place that use a lot of water through the week. Um, so we were, um, he was discussing whether he could actually pump out a whole thousand litres of the IBC every week or uh, whenever the filter needs to be cleaned and put that on the bananas or the citrus orchard and they've got a few other um, trees around the place. Um, while water is precious, they still need a lot to irrigate bits and pieces and that IBC. Uh, set up there would um, yeah make some nice nutrient rich water for the plants around the place so I'm really looking forward to tell you the truth and um, how this is going to be set up oh well, the other thing is um, his um, Hamish is a, a very smart intelligent chap and he's 
setting up his own solar system across the top here as well. So the idea is for this to be um, totally off grid. Uh, the power that does come in here is just a backup in case something goes pear shaped with the solar. Um, actually, it may even be to run the, the power back to the battery bank behind me. We haven't discussed that, but that would make more sense, wouldn't it, Robert? Um, the battery bank is in the shed behind me. Now I come to think of it. Um, so I'll share this with H and he can tell me um, if I'm on the wrong track. So, um, yeah, very exciting to be able to see this happen. Um, the other thing is he also has an older um, practical aquaponics um, style fiberglass system. Uh, but it's basically, I think it's just over a thousand litre fish tank. There's a grow bed across the top, which is um, in that design, a fingerling tank or something along those lines. And there's four other grow beds. So uh, we were just discussing whether he uses the small tank. Uh, to grow the fish out to a certain point in um, in weight or size and then the fish go into there uh, because if he was to stock that at the normal one fish per 20 litres uh, the grow beds he has and the space he has are definitely not enough biofiltration not enough plant space um, to use up all those nutrients that would be in there so H definitely wants to understock this um, maybe even contemplate using that smaller system as the aquaponic system and just using this as an aquaculture finishing tank, grow out tank. So, yeah, all very exciting. I did discuss this with, um, I mentioned it to Michael, David and Lee in the hangout today. G'day folks, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not much aquaponics was talked about or gardening, but anyway, we had a ball, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this goes. Oh, you can see they've got more um, water tanks down there in a shed with a large solar system on it anyway. they got solar on the house as well. They're very switched on people. I'll just go around and show you this other system. We can go for a bit of a walk through the wicking beds, why don't we? I love the little shade hoops he's put on these. Uh, just very basic. It looks like a um, 20 mil line just going over the top of the um, posts on the IBC cage. Yeah, and just some sewn shade cloth over the top because out here, they're west of us, about 30 or 40 kilometers west of us. And yeah, it, it does get a lot hotter here through summer than our place, just like our place is um, four or five degrees hotter than Bayside in Brisbane. So this is their little orchard and chicken run um, area. They've just, as you can see, there's hay, hay bales over there and they've just laid this about two foot thick all over the ground here. And they said since they've done that, uh, a lot of the trees are finally coming back. They've been here a number of years and it's just been an uphill battle and finally yeah they're starting to come good so they're really chuffed about that um hello chickens <laughs> gotta love the chickens um down here is the um aquaponic system there's the four grow beds for it so this is one of the practical aquaponics design systems all fiberglass um hamish has had this for a number of years well over a decade He's been into aquaponics way before I got into it. And um, yeah, this is the fish tank itself. So the idea is maybe, you know, run probably around about oh, 40 to 50 fish in here um, just to run the aquaponics. Um, need more grow bed space than this. And then, um, yeah, transfer them out. And maybe having another fish tank. I mean, it's all up in the air at the moment, but um, this is pretty much well what he's discussing. Uh, we've been discussing this afternoon. But I mean, even this is a pretty tidy sized little system. I would have liked the beds to be shorter and wider though, just to give you more growing space. But um, I suppose they were designed that way for a reason. So there you go. So they also have different types of poultry as well, not just the chickens. They've got a few different varieties of chickens and geese and um, ducks and mangoes. They're just starting off. This one here had a slight accident, but it's bouncing back. But anyway, uh, back around out to the fish. Oh, the soon-to-be fish house, aquaponics house. And, yeah, really impressed. Um, the dimensions, it's, I'm going to double-check this with H, but it's 17 metres by 4.5 metres. And I think it's round about, at a guess, probably say round about 4 metres tall. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe a little bit under 4 metres tall. So, there you go. Um, yeah, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see this evolve. And really looking forward to giving H a hand and documenting it for him. Uh, so it's something he can uh, show his kids later on. 
So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a uh, tour around the place, just looking at the bits and pieces that H and Nicole have to work with to build their system. And fingers crossed, uh, they'll let me have a crack at helping them out because I don't really have a lot to do aquaponics wise at home other than maintain the system. Uh, just quickly before I go, I would like to thank you all for coming along and sussing out the video. And also to those awesome folks who are helping to support the channel on the YouTube membership page and also our Farm Your Own uh, supporters website. Thank you very much. And don't forget, I do have that guide available for you folks who are interested in learning a little bit more about aquaponics. You never know, some uh, footage from this might make it into the guide one day down the track. But I will pretty much all leave it there. I do hope you're all well and happy and your own aquaponics and backyard farms are booming and I'll catch you later. Happy growing folks!